Why, hello lovebugs. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about how to find your passion and how to really get the most out of life doing what you love to do and how to figure that out if you're a little confused about what that is. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, let's dive deep into your passion, your soul. Do you feel like I'm looking into your soul right now? <laughs> Right. There's like this agreement throughout society that like we all just decided like, yeah, that's the case. And that is that you have one passion that you're born with and you have it throughout your whole life and then you die with this one passion. There's only one thing. There's only one thing that can set your soul on fire and that is a bunch of friggin' baloney. Okay, no, here's the thing, like even people who think they have one passion probably have more than one e anyway, but maybe one is just more like in your face. Okay, I won't get in your face again if you like and subscribe to my videos. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal guys, like you're gonna have different things throughout your life that you're passionate about. And a huge thing and a huge proponent in life that I believe in is adaptability and being able to pivot and change when those passions change. Because the thing is, is we're sold this idea that, you know, we have this one passion, right? And so if we don't know what it is, we freak out. We freak out. What the hell is my passion? What is, what do you like to do? <laughs> what? brings you joy? What makes you happy? <laughs> that's it. And that's why those things change when we grow, when we get older, when, when, look, like, and some of you guys followed my old Instagram account that was unfortunately hacked in no. May of 2020 and I lost a lot. <laughs> but my old Instagram account was all fitness and nutrition based. It was something that lit my soul on fire. I loved posting about it. I loved making content about fitness. Actually, even if you go back to my really old YouTube videos from like four or five years ago, because I just kind of restarted this channel up again about a year ago, you'll see a lot of fitness and nutrition content because that's what I was passionate about at that time. Now, if you're watching this video on my channel, on my Instagram, you'll see that I'm much more about self-development and happiness and inner peace and spirituality. And that's because my passions changed, okay? And it wasn't something that happened overnight. It took my Instagram getting deleted for me to realize like, I don't wanna get back on and post content about fitness. Did I feel like I should? Yes. So like, what are you doing in your life that's making you feel like it was something you used to enjoy doing, but you don't anymore? I mean, it could be something you did for years. I mean, that, that's how it was for me. I did fitness content for like, I don't know, seven, eight years, somewhere around that. And like, I don't wanna do it anymore, so I don't, okay? And I think that's a huge thing we get hung up on. And it's really such a simple thing to find your passion. It's one, just understanding that your passion is in the moment. It's right now. And your passion when you're 15 is going to be different from when you're 40. It's going to be different from when you're 75. Even if it's like, say for example, like what's an example? Music, okay? So say like you're really passionate about music, right? Well, maybe when you're 15, you're passionate about... I don't know, the piano, okay? And then when you're 30 or 35, you're passionate about um, rock music. And then when you're 75, you're passionate about classical music. So you see like the passion is all music, but it, it kind of ebbs and it flows and it changes throughout your life. There are a lot of parents out there who are so gung-ho and passionate about their job. And then when they have a child, they're like, screw my job. 
I want to just hang out with my kid all the time. And they become passionate about raising a family and they become passionate about their child. Or maybe you've spent your whole life just thrown into your work and your passion and you, and you love it so much. And then this guy or girl walks into your life and you're just like, whoa. You know, and it kind of knocks your socks off. And you're just like, no, I should be doing this because I've spent so much time doing this. But like, I really want to spend time with this person. And, and that kind of leads me to my second point here, guys, is that you can have more than one passion. <laughs> Like you can have more than one passion. Comment it below. You can have more than one passion. Okay? Like I'm passionate about a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm passionate about fitness. I'm passionate about spirituality. I'm passionate about God. I'm passionate about my relationship with my friends and family. I'm passionate about reading. I'm not as passionate anymore about snowboarding, but I used to be. Okay, like stop putting yourself in a box, okay? What makes you happy? What makes you feel so good at the end of the day that even if you're tired, you wanna keep doing it and you can't wake up tomorrow to do it, right? So like I've been, you know, if you guys saw my video a few videos ago, I quit my job recently, I didn't have a plan. I just realized like I wasn't happy doing that. I wasn't passionate about that position and that job anymore. And when I was on my movie set, every day, you know, each day that I'd film, I'd be exhausted by the end of the day. But I had a smile on my face and I enjoyed what I was doing and I couldn't wait to wake up the next day and do it again. So the, it's just simple. Finding your passion is just following the things that make you happy, the things that bring you pure joy. So I know you were probably expecting a lot more in this video, but this is how simple stupid it is. The acronym, keep it simple stupid, KISS. <laughs> keep it simple. What do you like to do right now? Not five years ago, not 10 years ago, not what you think you should be doing, not what you think you should be passionate about. What do you love to do? What makes you feel so good? What makes you feel so aligned to who you truly are in your soul? What makes you smile? What makes you laugh? What makes you like when someone brings this topic, whatever this topic is for you, up to you, and you just can't stop talking about it and you don't want to stop talking about it. What is that for you? Comment down below. Like if you have an idea, like what are you passionate about? Or what do you think you might be passionate about? And then if you want to build a career from that, there's a way to do it. There's a way to build a career from anything. All right, guys. So stop overthinking it. Oh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. I don't read a script anymore when I film these YouTube videos. So like sometimes I'm just like, ah, what the f was I going to say? <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Your passions are out there for you. Just listen to your heart, listen to your soul, pivot when you need to, adapt when you need to. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and support this page. It really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so I can see you guys and spend time with you again next week. I love you so much. Your passion is out there and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.